Well, some powerful scenes from Anaheim last night as protesters mobilized for another day of demonstrations. And this is not the first time the city has been at the center of a social uprising. We saw similar scenes in 2012 after protesters rallied against police shootings. NBC4's Vicki Vargas is live in our Orange County Bureau with a look at what has changed. Vicki. You know, Michael, it really at the time became known as the summer of unrest. Seven people shot and killed by Anaheim police in the span of just 12 months. Now, today we talked to police and we also talked to a community activist. She says some of those emotional wounds still hurt. But together, they say they believe the city is moving forward. Yesenia Rojas says this could not have happened in 2012. Thank you. Gracias, señora. A food giveaway that brought together the community, the YMCA, buses from the resort district, which normally shuttle people around Disneyland. Now it's happening every day in some of Anaheim's lower income neighborhoods. It's uh, better. I think it's uh, most of being working together, talking, meeting each other having this uh, communication. Police admit there was little communication when this happened. Manuel Diaz was shot and killed when police thought he had a gun. He had thrown a bag of drugs on a roof, but was found with a cell phone. The officers were not charged, leading to days of protests at City Hall and the police department. In a lot of ways, we've made a ton of progress. Um, and I think in some ways, um, we've made no progress. Captain Craig Friesen says since 2012, the department has added a police review board with civilians who now show up at critical incidents. He says state law mandates that video and information from shootings be made public within 45 days. He actually met with the family of Devante Emanuel, who was shot and killed following a domestic violence call. And it was probably the most honest and transparent thing I've ever been involved in in law enforcement, and it was difficult. Rojas's son was bitten by a police dog the day Manuel Diaz was killed. Her son was not arrested. But looking back, she says that incident forced her to connect with the police department. We've been having uh, this time to talk and to look for ways to, to build better communities, especially to keep back to the youth. Police officials say back in 2012, they could not communicate the why behind many of these shootings. Now they can. They're even forced to with those body-worn cameras. Yesenia Rojas says there is one thing also they're doing now that didn't happen before. They are talking to each other. Reporting live, I'm Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.